Good afternoon, Poké Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 8 video bringing you Zekrom and not just any Zekrom, a weakness policy Zekrom team. I am super excited to try out Zekrom because I have literally never used this Pokemon ever. <laughs> you can go back as far as you want. You can go into my old channel, Poké Sports' channel, anything, my competitive history. I have never used this Pokemon and I want to see what it does. I even never bought black. I always brought white and white too. So I really have no idea what this Pokemon does. Uh, but I know it's a dragon type and I know that I can drain and kiss it. So we have a Zekrom here with the weakness policy along with our best friend Comfy with the Beery Bear. We also do have the Incineroar because you guys know how I feel about Incineroar. I love Incineroar. And also Celestial Power Herb because I feel like this Pokemon is kind of low key really good. And not enough people are using it. So I think uh, I think we're gonna use it probably for a couple a couple more teams actually because I've been testing this out recently. I'm like, wow, this Pokemon is pretty strong. It really only worries about, you know, what's that Pokemon called? Thunderous. But hey, if we got a Zekrom on the team, do we really care about Thunderous? Like we, this is just the best Thunderous switch possible. We also do have the Nurse here just to help us with our Calyrexes and with our Metagrosses. And an Amoongus for redirection in case we have to. Also helps us deal with Trick Room a little bit better by putting all the Trick Room uh, sweepers to sleep. Anyway, that's the Zekron team. If you guys are excited to see you here on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. And let's go ahead and get on to these battles. How many weathers does one person need on one team? Holy. All right. <laughs> okay. Where do we start? I'm thinking we just turn off for brains and go Zekrom comfy. Bring the Urshifu for the potential Spectre and also the potential Tyranitar. And maybe Celestila to deal with Venusaur. Honestly, Celestila ruins that whole team. So definitely Celestila. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Thankfully, Zekrom doesn't care too much about any of those Pokemon. My biggest threat is probably going to be that Venusaur. Not even lying. But regardless, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I, I never thought people would need three weathers on their team. <laughs> Just in case, you never really know the situation. Poor Obama Snow getting left out of this equation. Or a level of nine tails. Okay, P2 lead. With the Spectre, that's definitely interesting. I mean, Trick Room could be a potential option for them. We could take this opportunity to throw as many attacks. I also gave Terravolt <laughs> to P2. Um, you see, we got options. Uh, I don't want to get burnt, though. I know Spectre can carry Willow and be very irritating. So I think for now I'm going to protect. I do have ally switch though. I kind of want to trick her myself. But I'm just going to... I know this sounds weird, but I'm just going to drain and kiss the Spectre. Because I want to break a potential Sash. And if they set Trick Room, they help me. So let's see if they help me. If they do me this favor, this luxury. Haze. Oh. And recover. Oh. I'm just going to Dynamax now. <laughs> I'm just going to Dynamax Max Lightning into that, uh, that ghosty now. And just, just in case, just in case a Will-O-Wisp is happening, I have to click this button. Do I feel guilty? Only if it doesn't work. <laughs> if it works, then uh, I don't feel too guilty. All right, let's see it. We're gonna Dynamax here. We can't actually set up weakness policy if the Spectre is gonna sit here and spam Haze all day. Is it really gonna carry Haze and Will O Wisp? I mean, I guess it could, right? This is just best case scenario, regardless. Went oh, for Shadow Ball. Okay. Shadow Ball into Zekrom. So that ally switch actually meant nothing. And I got rid of a Spectre. 
Cool. And what's really great about this is that now if they want to bring in the Among Us after setting up a potential trick room. Not Among Us. Venusaur. I will be... Oh, thank you! <laughs> okay, maybe Ally Switch mattered now. <laughs> Ally Switch definitely mattered now. But let's be honest. I was going to do that myself anyway. I just skipped the step. This Zekrom loves to be alive right now. Hi, Venusaur. You can't sleep me anymore. I'm going to go for Floral Healing. And I am going to light up this Venusaur's world. Actually, no. I'm going to light up this P2's world. Venusaur doesn't threaten me. The only thing that Venusaur can do against me right now is Sludge Bomb my Comfy. Or Dynamax. Well, like, what does it have? Max Quake, I guess? Max Quake isn't taking me out. I think it has to max ooze, if anything. Regardless, this P2's life should be eliminated in a couple seconds. Oh, that is lovely. I love when the stars just align like this. Zekrom's getting the time of its life. It's time to shine here on the channel. You guys want to see a P2 disappear? This is how you do it. <laughs> Not many things can make a, T a P2 disappear like that. Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> this poor Kyogre. I never saw this coming. I never saw this coming. I'm just going to flow healing myself again. I have no reason not to. And then lightning the Kyogre. Even if Kyogre protects, it's just eliminated. I don't know how my opponent's breaking through a Zekrom. There are not too many Dragon Electric types. And for the few that exist, Zekrom definitely put the, puts the others to shame. I'm just full or healing here out of just, I don't know. I have no other reason not to. Like, <laughs> Ice Beam again. They're shooting for freezes at this point. They don't get it. That's good. Max Lightning. Oh, Kyogre. Oh, Kyogre. Oh, All that's left is the Venusaur. Max oozing my Comfy. Comfy living at 8 HP. That's a tilter. Um, the Venusaur is a little bit of a threat, though. Now that my uh, Dynamax is gone. The thing is, I know that... I'm just gonna keep floor healing. Floor healing again on my last attempt to make an attack. And I think this should... This shouldn't KO the Venusaur. And maybe the Venusaur can actually take this opportunity to knock out my Zekrom here. Jeez, man. Comfy is so annoying. <laughs> Comfy is so toxic. Here's a Dragon Claw. Yeah, it's not going to take it out, but it did do a lot of damage. If I was Dynamax and I was a Max Wormwind, that would have been really well. They actually opted to not take out my Comfy here. Which means... GG? Question mark. Because all I got to do now is go for the Floor Healing again for fun and then bolt strike for an animation i've never seen this animation before <laughs> so there's a time and a place for everything battle is canceled i guess that time and place is not right now what is this pokemon zekrom making a debut here on the channel i that that was that almost felt dirty on to the next man our opponent is top 450 50. Going double horse here with a Regielecki. Thankfully, Regielecki doesn't threaten us too much. Actually, the majority of their team doesn't threaten ours. We kind of have to worry about the Ensign because of the Intimidate spams with our Zekrom. But we have weakness policy to proc, so that's not even that threatening. And they were kind of in a good position. On the off chance they said Trick Room, we could even go for Amoongus. But I don't even think Amoongus is necessary here. I definitely want the Ursh. 
And maybe the instant? Yeah, instant for that glacier for sure. Okay, let's do that. Running double support mons. The bulk the, the bulk of our damage output is gonna come through the Zekron. I mean, and the Urshifu, right? We can't we can't sell Urshifu short. But their whole team doesn't resist electric, so that that's just beautiful. The only thing that resists electric will probably still get one shot by weakness policy boosted bolt strike, which is the Reggie Lucky. Top four fifty. We just made it into Ultra Ball today. Not Ultra Ball, Master Ball today. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the stream on Tuesday, I'd suggest you go check it out. It was a pretty good stream. Um, ooh. Okay. Obviously, there are some Pokemon on the field that threaten us more than others. I am not worried about this Regilucky in the slightest. But I am going to start to throw attacks into this glacier for sure. So let's drain and kiss. Pop, pop a weakness policy. And let's go all in on this uh, this glacier here. Who switches out. Don't tell me we went to Finny. Dude. I don't know if my opponent just predicted that. But that makes me sad. I could have gone for a bolt strike right there. I should have. Why didn't I? Is a better question. I would have eradicated this Finny off the face of the earth. But I was like, ah, I'll go for Warm Wind. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Very risky play by my opponent, but hey, it panned out for them. Kudos. Now, what does the Lucky do? Can't do much, right? Because I'm four times resisted to it. Which is why I'm kind of ignoring it on the low. I'm not special, so. That makes me so sad. I hope he thinks I'm special. That'd be great. I'm going to go for the lightning now. And I kind of wish I had helping hand here, but I just don't. So I'll just go for a draining kiss onto... Onto the Alecky just to break a potential sash. And there goes the protect. Just trying to stall my Dynamax, I guess. I mean, hey, so far it's working. Oh, by second. They really think I'm special. Well, I hope they realize that I'm not after this damage. <laughs> Is this going to hurt still? Yeah. <laughs> That's still going to hurt. I kind of have two options now. I can either full heal myself or take the opportunity to remove a Finny from the game. I think I'm all for removing the Finny. Yeah, let's just... Eh, I guess we can also remove it with just an Airstream. Get ourselves a little bit of speed. Help us outspeed the Spectre, if that's what they have in the back. I know they have a Glacier. They could have the, the Calyrex as well. We'll just keep going for Flooring. Uh, not Flooring. Draining Kiss here. Flooring Kiss. What is a Flooring Kiss? Electroweb. This is why I streamed. Should work out. Ooh, actually, no. He's going to get one Moonblast off. That hurts, but we could flow healing it back. Okay. Um, We're left with decisions now. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, Zekrom is countering Metamons right now. It's like, there's just no Pokemon on my opponent's team that can do with Zekrom, and I find it kind of funny. They got to go back in with Glacier, I believe. As my Dynamax ends, but hey, it, it was definitely a worthy Dynamax. They still have to Dynamax themselves. Um, what do I do though? I guess I bolt strike there, and since I'm gonna go down anyway on that on that Zekrom spot. I do have Pokemon in the back to deal with. Cause like I don't want to flow healing if I'm just gonna go down anyway, right? So I'm just gonna draining kiss onto this Alecky. Oh or not. Never mind. 
They do have the instant, okay. So I'm going to be only plus one here. And this is going to be a Dynamax Glacier, I'm pretty sure, yeah. As long as I'm able to get one Bolt Strike off, see the animation for the first time, and still do a lot of damage. I'm still in Electric Terrain, Terra Volt, and all that good stuff. Like, this should still hurt a lot. And Bolt Strike, and being neutral, and then plus one, etc. Like, I have high, I have high hopes for this Bolt Strike. I hope I'm not disappointed. That's such good damage. That is really good damage. I could not be any happier with that, to be honest. They're gonna get the KO. So be it, right? Question now is... How do we avoid this fake out? I can go with my own instant. I think I will. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with my own instant. Get the negative one off on the Glacier. All I know is that my comfy is actually a lot more important than I think I'm giving it credit. I can now parting shot on the Glacier again. No, but I can't because I can't I can't swap into my my Urshifu like that. So I'll just flare blitz it. Followed by a draining kit. Actually, I guess I have to fake out their ensign, right? Such a weird turn. But I'll fake out their ensign. And then draining kiss their ensign. It's a very weird turn, but since I have the the Ensign fake out on their side, threatening my Ensign. I have to fake theirs out first just so I don't take damage at least. It's a very awkward turn. I do have speed, which is nice. And I also prevent their Ensign from attacking, but I'm going to have to eat up a max quake. I think I could take one. At neutral. Hardly, but I took it. <laughs> I hardly took it, but hey, it's been taken. Um... Big yikes. I'm not the end of the world. I can floral healing. Which I think I will. Because I want to floral healing and flare blitz the Glacier. I'll just floral healing and flare blitz. I could ally switch, and I've been thinking about it, but I think I, I'm going to try to save it later. Because I don't actually want my Comfy to go go down. I need my Comfy to take care of the Reggie Lucky. I guess not. I, I only really need Sucker Punch. Ugh, not enough. Not even close to enough. Ooh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Ugh, I didn't want them to attack my Comfy, but thankfully I have max defense. Oh no! Babiri, please! Oh, it's burnt now, so I should take this. Look at this, Comfy. Look at this, Comfy! Not even bad. Max defense, Comfy, plus Babiri Berry, plus burn, coming in super clutch. Flare Blitz has such a low chance to burn that I forget that it burns. Like, I never see that thing burn. Alright, anyway. That should be one flare blitz away, regardless of anything. We are sitting in a very nice spot here. Because if they even get a KO on one of our mons, and I'm pretty sure that guy's assault vested if it has high horsepower and steel spike, it's definitely assault vested because it's going to have ice cold crash and close combat as the other two. Um. Yeah, we're, we're in a good spot, because if they manage to get 1k on one of our mods, it doesn't matter, because we have an Urshifu that can take care of the rest of the team. But if I can keep this Comfy alive... Ooh, look at that crit! Comfy make us doing some work today! Comfy doing some serious work. 
Oh, uh, citrus berry. Or guav, actually. Slash figgy, slash anything else. It is a guav. Here's a flare blitz. There's a KO. And now we got an Alecky to deal with. An Alecky that we can drain and kiss. Parting shot on the Ensign. Big mistake. The comfy here is the threat. The comfy is the issue. The comfy is going to win the game. Supporting Zekrom from the shadows, from the grave. This hail is actually helping me. It's getting that Regilucky closer and closer to being like zero HP, which is all I need. Instinct gets one fake out, but guess what's great about Comfy? You can't fake it out unless you're faster than it, which Instinct definitely is not. So all I gotta do is I I guess I'll parting shot here, why not, right? And then I will draining kiss onto the lucky. Does it do it? Close. Gives me a lot of health, which is all I needed. And there's a fake gun onto my instant, that's expected. Followed by Electro Web. Okay. Just to uh, do some damage and mess with my speed a little bit. Ooh, Comfy does not appreciate that critical hit on the Comfy. And double speed drop. Hail stops. That's awkward. Huh. I'm gonna parting shot on their ensign. And then I'm going to draining kiss the lucky. Lucky hasn't protected yet. Dang it. I was really gonna protect it and go for ally switch. They're just trying to get rid of my comfy this turn, which I I can respect, right? It makes sense. But this is why I'm going for the This is why I'm going for the Parting shot, because at the very least, I send my instant out, get the negative one on their instant, bring my Urshifu, and then send back in my instant so I have fake out open again. This is why parting shot is dumb on instant, is because you get to recycle your fake out so much. So now that I have fake out open, and now that they just use protect, I cover myself for this next turn as well. So now we go in Ursh, now we go in instant. Not to mention the fact you get to recycle your Intimidate, which is even dumber. So all that's left now is close combat into the Ensign, followed by Fake Out into the Lucky, and that should be GG. We actually beat a top 450 player. That's pretty impressive with the Zekrom. Like, <laughs> I could not be any happier right now. What is happening? What is this planet? What world are we living on? On to the next. Rain team? You know who loves rain teams? <laughs> Sekra. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This is good. And then what we need is an Ensign. And then what we need is maybe a Celestial. I don't actually know what I put on you. Flash Cannon, Air Slash, Meteor Beam. I don't know how we're dealing with a... We're going to have kind of a hard time dealing with the Zacian. We could go Urshifu, so we can at least hit it with neutral damage. I mean, Urshifu just in general is still pretty good against the Dragapult. The only issue being that they're like two flying type Pokemon and four flying type moves potentially on that team, which makes my Urshifu a little bit strange. Um... My Celestial at least can air slash most of them. And a flash cannon from a power air boosted Celestial should still hurt the Zacian. So I'm leaning towards Celestial, so we'll see what happens. The only real Pokemon I have to worry about is that Thunderous, but like Zekrom though, right? And that's the great thing about, about uh, Celestial and Zekrom as a pair. The only things that Celestial is weak to is fire and electric, right? 
Zekrom resists both of those, like, tremendously. The only thing Zekrom is weak to is fairy and ground. I think. Should be. And ice, fairy ground and ice, Celestula, you know, deals with those. It's resistant to two of those, neutral to the other, right? Wow, we're we're going big right now, boys. Alrighty. You got it. You definitely got it. We got two options. Option number one. I think that's going to be our option. I kind of just want to go for the... Dynamax, Max Guard. Trick Room. Let's see if this works. Uh, this, re this relies on me surviving a plus one Behemoth Blade onto my... <laughs> onto my Comfy. I do have a Beery Berry. Uh, but this is still a plus one Behemoth Blade. I do have Max Defense, Max HP Bold. But this is still a plus one Behemoth Blade. Wish me luck. <laughs> but if I somehow manage to get this Trick Room up... No Dynamax on their side of the field, though. Oh! Will-O-Wisp, you say? I don't like that. Come on. I need this Trick Room. Let's go comfy, let's go comfy, let's go comfy. Comfy! <laughs> what? Comfy can live that? <laughs> uh, that is so wild to me. Okay, I have options. But I think this is my only option, is to get rid of this Dragapult before this Dragapult gets rid of me. So I'm going to kiss the Dragapult, Worm with the Dragapult. Clearly, this is a support Dragapult. We got the Trick Room up, which is amazing for us. Um, so now, what we have to do is eliminate the Dragapult. Who I hope doesn't have allies, which... That would have been a great thing to have for that kind of lead. Let's hope they don't use it. Because it does actually make a lot of sense for this lead to have, like, you know, a dragon weak Pokemon and then a dragon immune Pokemon next to each other. They're gonna withdraw the Zacian. Honestly? I'm cool with that. This negative one should not be relevant at all. Because it's still a max warm wind versus, you know, an undying max Pokemon. That's still a draining kiss, should do like half. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna get a lot of HP back for that too. We can even proc our own weakness policy if we want this next turn, which I think we will. The good news is we smack them with a negative one as well, right back to their side of the field. All right, we got one more turn of Dynamax. We gotta make it count. I think they predicted us to go for a Bolt Strike onto their Zacian spot. But like, nah, dude, you showed me that you have Will-O-Wisp. I'm gonna be afraid of Will-O-Wisp. Kingdra? What? Um, they're trying to make that Kingdra look real juicy. And it does look juicy, don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to go for the Warm Wind because I'm not an idiot. I'm going to go for the Max Lightning. Followed by the Draining Kiss onto Zekrom. The reason I go for Lightning is on the off chance they switch into their Zacian. Because then that way I can at least hit it for neutral damage versus, you know, just it being immune. And they have their only ground uh, electric immunity on the field already. I'm not... God, I've been playing VGC for a very long time. I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> That's not going to be something you're going to get me with. Maybe sometimes. Oh, okay. So you're not scarfed is what you're saying. You're also not assault vested. So that means like what your lumbar your life for? The presence of Zekrom is just gross. It's like, it doesn't care. I'm pretty sure Kingdra, outside of rain, outsped my... That's dumb damage. What is that damage? 
Oh my goodness. I think I found my spirit Pokemon, man. This is this is great. All right, all that's left is a Dragon Claw onto you. And let's just Draining Kiss the Zacian. That should be enough, surely, to knock it out. Oh, oh no. Oh, you poor thing. You guys want to see a Kingdra disappear? Don't worry, I got you. They're clearly trying to stall my Trick Room. The Trick Room is causing them, like, a world of problems. Jeez, man. <laughs> this is working out for the best, huh? All right. They also get to cycle the Intimidate, so I'm back down to neutral. At the very least. They have yet to Dynamax. They're gonna have to Dynamax this, uh... It's Landorus. Um, let's outplay the Landorus, though. We'll go for a fly, and then we're just going to go for a Draining Kiss to finish off this Zacian. We're going to go for a fly to take the incoming EQ, just because. Why not? I could technically be immune to this EQ for two turns. If I wanted to, and I think I will. <laughs> I have an idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Some people will be upset at me. But if this works, it's just going to be funny. It all depends on the Trick Room turns. Trick Room runs out, I can't do this. Trick Room doesn't run out, then I, this is fair game. Let's just kiss the Zacian. Is it enough? Beautiful. Get it off the field. I'm literally winning battles with two Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that that's awkward. Never mind. I thought I thought I I would go first. I didn't. Is trick Is that just a very slow Landorus that we're up against? Yeah, that was just a very slow Landorus. Okay, I guess I can't predict that. All right, well, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's go into Ensign. Also, is that Life Orb? I didn't actually check. Get that negative one off. It was not Life Orb, so it has to be Lumber. We're going to go into Celestula. I'm going to Trick Room. We should theoretically be safe. Oh, they quaked the comfy. Ooh, oh no. We take it, and we're going to get Trick Room up. Which means we're going to get Meteor Beam up as well. I think I'm going to throw my instant back in just for good measure. Mm, maybe not. I don't like how much special defense he's getting. Yeah, I've been avoiding clicking this button for a long, for a lot of different times this game. I'm just going to click it now because <laughs> it makes sense. There's no reason not to click this. Because one, it'll stop him from getting one more quake off, which means he'll get one less special attack raise up. So I get to mitigate that. And on top of that, it's just immune damage. Like I'm already not doing damage. Jeez. So might as well make it immune on his last turn of Dynamax. Now I just have to fire off a bunch of Flash Cannons into the Landorus. Followed by Draining Kisses. That should be game. It'll take a very long time because of the special defense raises that my opponent has. But eventually we'll be able to whittle down this Landorus, I believe. I, if you want to make this any longer, we can do it. <laughs> I got all night. I I don't mind. Comment question of the day. Um, don't you just hate it when people protect for no reason? <laughs> Here's my thing. I don't mind to protect, 
if they're trying to get leech seed health, if they're trying to get leftovers recovery, if they're trying to, you know, stall out with burn turns, sand turns. But there's nothing here. There's nothing. Nothing makes a difference by protecting. That was still very good damage. Are they going to fire off an EQ here? Looks like Comfy's still able to take it. Uh, since they're going to protect for some reason, I'm going to fire off my Incineroar switch and go for another flash cannon. I guess they're trying to PP stall me or timer stall me. I don't know. Battle's canceled. Anyway, that's the triple win, baby. Guys, I'm not even memeing when I tell you. I, I just started recording half an hour ago. And here we are half an hour into this video. And I've got three wins. It, this team has just won me three battles in a row for <laughs> with very minimal effort. I mean, it's been very, very oppressive battles, very straightforward battles. It's not like these were hard battles. The second one was a little bit rough, but at the end of the day, it still turned out like with the Zekrom carrying the game. Let's actually check my rating real quick, just because I'm curious. Uh, just with three, three wins in a row is going to do to my rating. I, I started off at 1544. Almost top a thousand. That's not bad for for you know a person who just got into Master Bolt today. Anyway, let me get you guys this rental code. I don't know what else to say. And here's the Zekrom Comfy team. Team's very straightforward. Has six very strong Pokemon with one very terrifying restricted Dynamax Mon with Dragon Claw, Bolt Strike, Fly, and Protect with weakness policy on top of it all and one of the best weakness policy crackers in the game, that being Comfy. Um, the Celestia we didn't get to see too much of today, but hey, Celestia is a great Pokemon. Max Speed, Max Special Attack, just does a lot of damage with the Meteor Beam and Power Herb combination. We have the Urshifu, which can deal with Calyrexes. Ursh uh, not Urshifus, Calyrexes, Metagrosses. Second types in general, Indeedees, um, Dusclopses, just a great Pokemon overall. The Incineroar, secondary, dark type, great Intimidate Pivoter, great Parting Shot user, great Flare Blitz holder, and uh, yeah, no Amoongus today, but hey, Amoongus is there in case you need redirection, and in case your opponent's going Heart Trick Room, you have that option to just sleep everything on their side of the field. Anyway, let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think of this team down below in the comment section. I had a blast using it. If you guys end up using it, come back on the video, write a comment saying, "Hey Kevin, this is how I feel about this team. I loved it. I hated it. I think this could be better. I I love income. Not income. I do love income. I love input, and I love knowing what uh what you guys think about my teams that are like you know I spend a lot of time putting together. I don't just slap Pokemon on the team. I try to think of synergies and I try to think of different uh, strategies and EV spreads and things like that. So I do spend a lot of time on the teams and I do appreciate when you guys give me feedback on them. Anyway, um, click all the links in the description. Check out Pokesports.org. We work on that website a lot and does have a damage calculator, weakness policy, weakness policy, weakness calculator, uh, merch store, and a bunch of all the cool stuff. Has a team archive of every single Series 8, Series 7, Series 6 team that I've ever used. And uh, that's that. I'm Kevin with Pokesports. A great night. Peace out.